Hi, we're at the Combine Naval Events 2025 in Farnborough, UK, and I am very pleased to meet again with Rear Admiral Yetkin. He is the head of Istanbul Naval Shipyard. It's a state-owned shipyard in Turkey, specializing in the production of surface vessels uh, for the Turkish Navy, as well as uh, production for some uh, commercial uh, vessels. Admiral, great to see you again. Great to see you, Mr. Berizovier. It's a great pleasure for me to be here and to meet you here again at CNE. Thank you very much. So uh, the reason I wanted to uh, meet with you uh, was to get a brief overview of uh, the current and future uh, programs for the Turkish Navy, uh, in which uh, your shipyard is involved with for most of them. Uh, one current program is the uh, ISAR class uh, OPV. Uh, can you tell us more about this uh, OPV class? It will be quite a unique design, I understand, because it can involve in evolve into a full-fledged uh, surface combatant. Yes, thank you very much, Xavier. Now we are uh, just constructing two OPVs. The initial plan is to have the 10 of the Hisar cl class OPVs. Now the two of them are right now under construction. Uh, the first class of the ship is uh, named Akisar. We almost hosted the flag. We are completing the remaining <laughs> items of the SATs. The other ones, uh, we are almost done with the harbor acceptances. Hopefully by the end of this year we will be commissioning that ship. We see this ships as a vital uh, layer between the fast patrol boats to uh, the frigates or the corvettes because in some reasons we need the maritime patrol presence, humanitarian assistance, command C2 purposes, uh, anti-smuggling and uh, to, 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 to fight against illegal immigration we need some kind of uh, vessels. So without to, to free up some of the frigates or the corvettes low us we have needed this kind of uh, platforms and they can uh, be upgraded to corvette level uh type of ships with more armaments? Yes, definitely, definitely, Xavier. Uh, right now, we keep the same design as much as possible uh, because uh, we want to keep the configuration as much as in line with the other platforms. Yes, uh, the old uh, infrastructures, pipelines, cablings uh, are ready for inserting the, the, the ammunition or the weapons or the uh, additional sensors. That means in a very short time, these platforms can convert it to a Corvette quickly. Next in size, uh, and that's another flagship uh, project for uh, Turkish Navy, it's uh, the uh, I-Class or Istanbul-Class uh, frigate. Uh, you already successfully built the first uh, ship at Istanbul Naval Shipyard. Uh, is it, uh, I think, I believe it's currently the, during uh, sea trials? Uh, oh, we have, the, we have the almost done uh, with the sea acceptance test and we commissioned it. The VA Commission that she just uh, participated in our recent Sea Wolf exercises. She performed very well. We are very happy for the performance that she showed us. Uh, the seven more are under construction in the private shops. So, military shipyards is leading the industry, they are showing the, uh, our capability to them. So, the, the reason that we spare this the spread this uh, to, to, to four different shipyards is that we want to increase the capability of the private industry, we want to increase the, our trained person, talented workers to increase, uh, to increase the uh, local support. Uh, again, moving up one size uh, is the future TF-2000 uh, air defense uh, vessels. Uh, can you tell us more about this uh, project, uh, what's the current status and uh, also, how, how big will these vessels be? Will they be destroyers or more like frigates? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, you see, the, our story begins with the medium corvettes, now frigates, now the air defense destroyer. She will have 150 meters. She will have uh, 8,300 tons and they're very capable of the VLS system, surface-to-air missiles, GIF systems, and the most important thing is the ASA radars together with the phase arrays. So these are going to be the major uh, milestones. So there's going to be an air defense capability uh, for not only the, the, the seas, but to all the Turkey uh, will be covered by our ships. Also, the first show of the ships we did design uh, phase almost done. We make the first steel cutting in last December, uh, hoping in three years we will be launching uh, our uh, TF-2000 destroyer. And they will bring a lot of new capabilities in, in, indeed to the to the navy. Uh, again, if we continue to go up in scale, uh, well, lastly for surface ships, uh, you also have an aircraft carrier project. 
You see, the, for the last decades, we invested heavily in our uh, naval shipbuilding industry. And uh, you see, the results are clear. TF-2000, I-class frigates, OPVs, and now we came to an aircraft carrier. Now we have our own design. But we started constructing the uh, runway of the platform. What we have is, uh, we're going to have the Hürkush, which is the two such aircraft. The other one is the Baikar unmanned jet. So we are closely working with them. That means that in our design office, they have their own engineers, technicians. We are very closely working with them. Uh, hopefully, uh, in a very short time, uh, we will be launching it then, and then the integration phase will begin. And uh, this uh, aircraft carrier will be different compared to uh, TCG and Odulu? Yes, it, it's going to be different than the TCG Anadolu, which is going to be larger than uh, the, the TCG Anadolu. TCG Anadolu is around 27,000 tons, while we uh, aircraft carrier will have the almost uh, more than 60,000 tons. Uh, our Anadolu is, as you know, 230 meters, while we our uh, aircraft carrier will be 285. We will have the almost 50 aircrafts at one time. That means uh, these are the big differences. Uh, lastly, because that's quite important as well, uh, and it's not built in your shipyard because your shipyard specializes in service ship, but you also have in Turkey a national submarine project. Yes, yes. another uh, military shipyard located in Gölcük, they are responsible for constructing the ship uh, submarines. Also, they are constructing the AIP class submarines, which we call the 214 types of classes. Uh, two of them are right now operational. Uh, one of them is operational, the other one is almost completing the sea acceptances. Four more are under construction. Taking the experience from these projects, now we uh, designed our own uh, submarine. We, could, we call it Mildan National Design, National Submarine Program. We also just last, again, uh, December, we made the first yield welding of the test section. Hopefully, we are working with the subsystem because this is important for all the electric systems, combat management systems, sensors, sonars. They are important parts of the submarines. So, this, the, our industry is also supporting us. Hopefully, we will continue with we constructing our own design. Uh, lastly, Admiral, uh, Turkey is a nation of the Black Sea. Uh, do you feel like, uh, well, the recent development, the past three years in the Black Sea, uh, has this impacted any of your uh, programs? Uh, maybe also in unmanned systems, because, uh, well, we've seen that in, you know, Ukraine, uh, Russia, but Turkey also is very, very, very famous, first with UAVs, but now with USBs as well. Yes, yeah, we are closely monitoring, especially the situation in Black Sea. Black sea. Uh, so far, uh, as you know, we formed the MCM task force together with the Bulgaria, Romania and Turkish uh, mine hunter vessels are patrolling along the coast sides of our Black Sea. So we, we, what we see is what we learned that the USVs and UAVs are getting pretty much important, especially when detecting the mines. So far some the mines are unfortunately detected in the Black Sea and threatening our critical underwater structures. And this is a big stemma, as we have seen in this uh, conference, that we have to prepare ourselves. Uh, you are right, uh, you are right. Uh, we have to prioritize of one of the projects that we have, the mine hunter vessels. Probably we are modern, we, will, we will be modernizing our existing fleet as well as new mine hunter fleet uh, project is coming. Admiral Yetkin, that was very clear. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Hope to see you again in Istanbul this time.